Hey everyone, welcome back to Former Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out pop, question mark, pop, exclamation, by CSR. Um, CSR stands for, it's an acronym for Chotsarang, right? Uh, now, Chotsarang is Korean for first love. Chot being first, Sarang being love, first love obviously. Uh, now it's the debut of a brand new girl group. I don't know anything about them, so we're going to be going into this pretty fresh. Now, before we actually get into the video, if you guys enjoy our content and you'd like to support us further, please join us over on our Patreon. Over on our Patreon, we do bonus content like listening parties, variety reactions, K-drama reactions, survival show reactions, and we'd love to see you there. Uh, of course, you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to. You could just simply like the video down below or just subscribe down below. We'd really appreciate it. All right, let's get into the video. This is Pop Pop by <laughs> CSR, and this is your form of therapy. for some reason. Oh wow, the flower, that edit was so quick, but it was magical? Whoa. Oh no, bring that back, just a little bit longer. Oh, so nice. Oh. 
I don't know what their logo is technically supposed to be because it's trying to form something, but oh, I like it. It's three hearts like put together. Oh man, that's nice. Um, I love it. It's fantastic. Uh, it it feels like a very strange crossover between like like a little mix of um, I, I I think the go to that everyone's going to think of is G friend, but I'm also thinking G friend a little bit of Fromus Nine, uh, Fromus Nine's glass shoes. G Friends just overall old their rookie sound and maybe a little bit of Momoland's debut song, Jiang Kung Kuang. It, it has like a weird combination, like little bits of all three, but it definitely derives heavily on the youthful schoolgirl concept. Um, because of that, and it's a very tried genre, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, because of that, Strangely enough, the chorus is my least favorite part of, about the song. Mind you, it's very good. But all the other parts of the song are actually so excellent. They stand out so well. I love it way more than the chorus. Every part of the song. The chorus of this song is perhaps the only um, familiar part. It, it, it's the easiest part. But I also feel like that's what helps make people, I feel like, like the song. It's like... Hey, it's a sound you're familiar with. It's a sound you're used to. But then uh, on top of that, we're doing a lot of fun, interesting things. And so while, you know, the chorus is my least favorite part about the song, that's not like, I still like the chorus. It's just not as interesting as the rest of the song. But um, I, yeah, I really, 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 really like this. Um, I think my favorite parts, probably this part. Oh, not this part. Oh. <laughs> the opening verse is that sound right there. Pop, pop, na, 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 pop, pop. I love how they broke it up like that. Um, I honestly thought the song was immediately going to go right into and you know swelling pre-chorus or something, but no, they kept the pop, pop thing going for another section, which I really enjoyed. Um, and I also really like this post-chorus thing they do. This right here. First of all, the girl's little head thing right there was wonderful. But this song is awesome. Man, those verses, that pop pop guiding the verses is really great. And that post chorus is really great. And so um, I, I think it was smart on that part, including that post chorus as well, because yeah, you have a very familiar chorus. And for me, it's, and you know what? There's, there are going to be some people who miss that G friend sound and they're going to love that chorus. All right. But there are going to be some people like me who are like, ah, I've heard this before. What else do you got for me? And that post chorus is beautiful. Uh, in terms of the music video, there's not really anything groundbreaking about it. Um, if I were to just talk about the things that I liked, because I, I don't think there was anything particularly like new that I saw, but, um, uh, well, actually I'm noticing, I just want to say, I like this shot right here. What I'm thinking happened because it's lit and I don't mean lit as in the way the kids use the word lit lit i mean literally it's an outdoor shot and it was like completely lit and i can't find that shot again Fuck. oh right there yeah they are lit i think my guess is it's also pretty yellow and i can see the flare of the sun on her i'm guessing they shot this at uh sunset I'm guessing they probably shot this at sunset. I don't know why I'm bothering to guess, but I will ask them if I ever get the chance. Oh, yeah, this was definitely sunset. I can tell by the trees. All right, that's why they're... Um, 
uh, being lit outside. But that looks really nice. But that wasn't what I wanted to talk about. Um, where I wanted to talk about, well, actually, first of all, this overall set, it's very, it's a very simple setup, but it's really nice. I just want to say, really nice. I thought they were shooting inside, um, what are those places where you can go look at plants? A solarium? Not a nursery, but like, those places where you can go pay money to go look at exotic trees and plants, whatever, whatever. Um, but uh, where is, where are, where's the section that I like, that I, oh, yeah, right here. Uh, I love what they did here for this section. This was really dope and cool. Just like her that floating, flying thing. Um, I like this constructed set right here. Uh, the outfits are fine. All right. Um, I don't think there's really. Oh, there it is. There it is. I liked this shot. They they also they do some interesting lighting things right here. If you notice with this set piece right here, technically they're still shooting on the same set. I'm gonna remember this two forty four. If you look at the shot right here, 244, compared to this shot, it's completely different. They just dimmed the lighting and they kind of gave it like a different look. If you look at it, it's, it's got more of a nighttime look, even though they're indoors. Uh, that's accomplished by the harsh lighting right here. Like, honestly, it's a very bog standard music video, but I kind of loved it. It was nice uh colorful and sweet oh right i'm also watching this on a nice tv i'm looking let me look at this on my reference monitor yeah it looks nice yeah yeah there's just i i think the only thing about the music video is it's they're not breaking the mold or anything but the song good music video good i think it's all solid i think the music video accomplishes all the things you need to hit for a debut music video. Um, they, I, I think several of the members stood out. Uh, not all the members. I I think one of the members, uh, I didn't notice until the bridge, um, like when her part came on. Uh, but overall, I'm kind of really into this. I do like the that classic schoolgirl, youthful, very emotional type of concept. I really like that. But I also like how they, I guess, enhanced it. You know, they didn't just, they didn't just do a classic, uh, you know, youthful schoolgirl song. They gave it a much more, I feel like, refreshing uh, upgrade to it. So I like it. In terms of a rating, though, I'm gonna give it probably an eight. Um, I love it. I'm definitely going to listen to it again. I don't think it's like the craziest, most amazing song in the world, but I do love it a lot. Um, in terms of the music video, the music video I'm going to give, I'm going to give like an eight because, you know, they did everything right. It looks good. Um, and I would watch it again. It's actually really pleasant to look at. Uh, it very much looks more like, Closer to almost a film look. There's a lot of shots and angles. Like right here, if you look at this shot of this girl, that's like a that's like a really, really long focal distance shot. I think that's like at least that's over a hundred millimeters, but um it's a dope shot. And just overall the music video is very pleasing to look at. But guys, uh if you uh if you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, what did you guys think of their debut? What did you guys think of Pop Pop? Um, I'm a fan of the song, for now, that is, at least. Uh, the girls themselves seem like they can sing well. Uh, choreography wasn't enough for me to, like, be blown away or anything, but I'm sure they can dance fine. But um, uh, I, I think there was just not enough of that for me to really gauge any of that. Um, but yeah, looks like they also have quite a big budget backing behind them. I don't know what label they're from, uh, but 
they must have quite the label backing. Hey, could you look up what label CSR is from? But whatever label they are, I, I think they have quite a bit of money behind them because this music video was very well made. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Um, what? Oh, oh, there's a label <laughs> called CSR. Yeah, I'm sure. I and mean, this is what happens when you get into acronyms. Uh, it gets a little bit like confusing. Yeah. Pop music. Pop music. And before that was J Planet Entertainment. J Planet Entertainment. Yeah. Wait, are these girls Japanese? Wait. I mean, for sure, some of these girls are Japanese because I was thinking some of these girls looked Japanese. But let me see. CSR K-pop profile. No. I thought... Oh, wait, no. Okay, no. Okay, I was only right about one person being Japanese. I thought two of the girls were Japanese, but apparently not. But no, they're all Korean. Okay. Um, my assistant said that they're from, what was the label you said, their, their previous label? J-Planet and Pop Music? Yeah, J, like the name J-Planet sounded, I don't know. It sounded like, it, like a, they were trying to do a Japanese thing. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I've never heard of pop music. What? Let's see. Pop music label. Wow. I should not have wrote pop music label because, well, all I see are labels for pop music and not this label itself. Anyways, I'll do independent research later. Guys, that's going to be it for my reaction review to Pop Pop by Chosarang. Please let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys enjoyed our reaction and review, please go ahead and check out our other contents over here. You can visit our Patreon and support us over here. Uh, we, we do bonus reactions over there, listening parties, variety shows, K-dramas, survival shows. You can go ahead and subscribe over here. Make sure to leave a comment and a like, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.